go. Decided that I wanted to do the coast to coast. But I've not been out hiking or camping too much. Just doing a little bit of sort of preparation if you will. Trying to get more miles in each day different types of terrain hopefully um, at the moment just near uh, FC United's football ground I live pretty much just over the road from it like I say just getting a few miles in now um, my aim hopefully is to do the coast to coast maybe September at the end of September but it depends um, yeah, it, you know what the weather's like. Catch back up with you shortly. I'd uh, bring you back because uh, I've come across this uh, wonderful little pond. Seems to be all frozen over. See people trying to break the ice, probably the kids from the school that's close by. But obviously they've been quite unsuccessful, so I wonder how thick the ice actually is. Obviously I'm not going to test it. Oh, I'm, no, I'm definitely not. Yeah, it's uh, quite cold in the UK at the moment even though the sun is out it's uh, yeah it's quite icy and frosty but it's lovely until it's getting close to Christmas Side when the weather's a lot of cold and crisp like this. Um, the, the contrast in colours, um, like maybe if you can see sort of up that hill where uh, the sun's been smelted all the uh, the frost, and then you've got the you know the, the ambers and browns of the leaves falling and wilting. It's bloody beautiful. Um, I kind of. I really hope it snows this year. I'm get a you know, photograph of this frost in it. So I was still in the same place. I, I don't even know what the name of the uh, places that we're walking even though I probably should. Still enjoying the walk. Um, it's a bit slippy down here, I'm not gonna lie. So if the camera cuts unexpectedly, I'm probably gonna go to the hospital. Well, I remember um, I was uh, on a walk once up by Dubstone Reservoir. Um, when it was snowing, I think it was like two years ago, and you know, it was so funny. I, I sort of went flying in front of a bunch of people, which, yeah, I mean, made them laugh. So, what more could I ask for? And then uh, there was something similar to like that hole that you see there, and it was covered with snow. And I was walking along and got my foot fully stuck in there. Um, it took me about five minutes to get it out because of how cold it was. That was quite funny. But I always think that small things like that that happen, they just they make trips and days more rememberable, don't they? You know, nobody remembers a boring day where everything goes perfect. So yeah, fun. 
but this place that we're in is uh, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Hopefully, try and get about six miles in. I say it's lovely, and then I, uh, I don't know that you can see that up there. Nice, nice wheelie bin. Hey, I, I don't know. People have just. Ugh. So I decided to extend my walk a little bit more. So we're now in a place called Clayton Vale. So again, uh, it's close to where I live. So we're obviously within walking distance. Um, I used to come around here all the time when I was um, when I was younger. I used to live in a lovely place called Newton Heath. If you know the area, you know that's definitely me being sarcastic. So yeah, they, but you know, Clayton Vale, um, it's a nice big area. It's got it's probably more of different sort of terrain. It's a train. I'm sorry, yeah, back to what I was saying. Yeah, there was a big train there. So Clayton Vale, it's got more sort of um, varied terrain than the other place that I was at. So it's probably a little bit better for me. In regards to uh, inclines, declines, rocky terrain, grass, a bit of snow, a bit of ice. And then obviously that's the railway. A funny thing, when I was growing up as a kid, we used to have these things called uh, the Clayton Wars. As I was saying before, I don't know how much you heard before my battery ran out. But, so where I yeah, grew up, a place called Newton Heath, we used to have like, wars. <laughs> so we had uh, Clayton Wars with the Claytoners, where we'd basically just run down big hills at each other and throw stones and sticks and all sorts at each other for no apparent reason, other than you were from Clayton, I was from Newton Heath, yeah, just whatever passes the time. It's funny the things that we do as kids, but yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share that again, especially in this lovely area that we're in at the moment, it's like Christmas time. Fun and games, I'll uh, probably bring you back when there's something else to look at.
tell from the looks of it, I'm coming up on the uh, mountain bike course, which you're not really supposed to walk on. But considering the weather, um, and I've not seen anybody riding any bicycles, uh, I'm all right, just crossing over. a small scramble up a hill that was just like full of bushes and trees there was no defined pathway um, and then so I got, got to the top of it all, all good and then walked straight into a bloody bramble bush that's ripped my down jacket put a nice hole in it I've not, I've not got any uh, tape to repair it at the moment. Um, tried to pull off some tape that I've already got stuck on some other holes. It just didn't work, so yeah. Now I've got a uh, nice lovely L-shaped rip in my um, jacket on the arms. Not, not a big deal, but yeah. Just thought it was quite funny how I've got through and up the hill. And then as soon as I've come out of the hill, or come up the hill, should I say. Um, yeah, Bramble Bosch rip. So yeah, thanks for that. But, yeah, it's been a really nice walk so far. I thought I'd be sort of more tired than I am at the moment. Or my legs would be aching more, considering I've not really been out walking for quite some time. I've done only done three and a half miles at the moment, but that's three and a half here, and then. Um, probably about three and a half back as well we'll see how many miles I end up finishing the day on So I don't know that you can tell now, um, but the sun is um, slowly setting, which is, for the time of year is quite expected, even though it's probably what, quarter past three, the sun's definitely dipped, I feel the temperature's dropped um, a tiny bit, but I'm still quite warm, still got my jacket open, I just want my gloves on. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite warm, as you can probably see just up in front now, coming back to civilization, roads and blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna cut the video here. Well, nothing exciting happened on the way home. Just a bit of an update. I've done just over seven miles in two and a half hours. Um, my feet are hurting a bit. I feel like I need to cut my toenails. But yeah. <sighs> Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty proud to be honest. All fun and games. Peace.